Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest way of creating a new React application using the Next framework. So go ahead and open your Bash on Windows or Terminal on your Mac OS. Make sure you have Node installed by running the node dash dash version command. If this command results in an error, make sure you install Node.js before proceeding with this tutorial. Having Node on your system also gives you access to the npx command, so let's go ahead and check that. If you don't know what npx is, basically it's a command that allows you to run a package without having to install it with npm. So for example, if I have to run a package without installing it with npm, I can do something like this. But instead of cow say, we're going to use create next app. Just make sure you're doing it directly from your C drive or like in my case, it's a G drive and type in the folder name for your project in which case it's Graffinity, and it's going to create that project directly on the hard drive. And we're also going to use dash dash use npm. Now at this point just hit enter and watch the project build itself. Now once the app is created, what you want to do is change directory to Graffinity, which was our name for our app, and then you want to type npm run dev. This will execute your next JS server and it will be available on your local host running on port 3000. So now what you can do is copy and paste localhost colon 3000 and paste it into your browser's address bar. Hit enter and you will be running your next application that we have just created. Now I'm going to go to my VS Code editor and go to file open and find the folder for Graffinity project going to open folder. This will load our project into VS Code. I'm going to find the pages folder, which is where Next.js stores all of its UI routing pages, which it also creates automatically from simple JavaScript files. And I'm going to change index page text. And as you can see, hot reloading is already available. As soon as you change something in the app, in the editor, it's going to be automatically reloaded on your local host in your browser. And that's pretty much it, guys. In my next Next.js tutorials, we're going to take a look at how to actually build Next.js apps.